Good morning, boys and girls. It's so good to not see you this morning, but I assume you're out there and I can picture your face uh, in my mind's eye. And I wanted to tell you a story today about, uh, oh, about one thing about change. I wanted to tell you a story about how people of faith sort of got started with a relationship to God. And it's back when they were, when they were slaves in Egypt. And uh, they, had to, they had to do some other, uh, the Pharaoh's bidding. And so they were in chains and they had to, to build things and do things that Pharaoh wanted. And Pharaoh kept getting harder and harder on, on them. And so one day God said, well, come on out. Get, leave Egypt. Leave the Pharaoh. I will help you. And there were, there were all sorts of plagues of boils and bugs and all sorts of bad things that happened to the Pharaoh and his people because God did not want them enslaved in chains anymore. And so it got to a head, and, and one time God said, okay, get ready. I'm going to take you out. I'm going to get you out of Egypt. And so, uh, but you got to be ready to move fast. And so they were ready, uh, but they were doing all their normal business. And God said, make a mark on top of your, on top of your doors uh, and on your lintels. And so I'll know to pass over your house when the bad stuff is happening and I won't do bad stuff to you. And so they said, okay. And so they did it and they were all ready. Uh, and some people were baking bread. And when God came and did bad stuff, to the enemies of Israel who were enslaving the Israelites and wouldn't let them escape and be free, um, God went over and some of the people were making bread. And God said, okay, you got to go now. And so they, the, the one of the ladies said, yeah, but we were just going to put the yeast in the bread. And God said, you got to go now, 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 now. And so they took the bread up and without the yeast. And it looked like this when it was done. Very thin. I don't know if you can see that, but it was very thin. And this is what the bread was. And when they had a meal to celebrate leaving Egypt and being free, they used this bread and they had wine in a pitcher. And they celebrated that meal. And because God passed over their houses and kept them safe, they called it the meal of Passover. And ever since then, the Jews have been celebrating Passover and what was a terrible, terrible time in their life became a, a meal of power for them. And so they have this meal of Passover with, with bread, and they even have bitter herbs to remember how bitter it was, and grape juice. And you'll never guess that we do a meal almost exactly like this. When Jesus was celebrating the meal of Passover, he was celebrating this meal about the slaves being free, he was doing it, and he initiated another meal. He initiated the meal of communion. And so communion is, is a time when Christians that, or people that Jews that followed Jesus celebrated Passover. And so these meals are of the same elements and sort of remember the same thing. They remember being free from the slaves, but Jesus wanted them to be free from people who are keeping God from everyone. And so the meal that we do is like the meal that they did, and we have been doing it for 3,000 years. The same meal, the same element. And so when we have this bread like we will today, we remember that we were once slaves, but now we're free. And so the symbol that we're going to keep on the altar throughout Lent is going to be this bread and this cup. So always we remember that good things can come out of bad. Have a great week. Bye-bye.